Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut a piece of music in Audacity. Alright, the first thing you want to do is, of course, open Audacity. From here, you'll click on File, and then Open, and now you're going to search for whatever music it is that you're looking for. Um, pick wherever your music is located. Uh, mine is in, I don't know, my music, Amazon MP3. Choose and open the song that you want to cut the piece out of. Now if you click the green button here, the entire song is going to play and we don't want that. It's four and a half minutes long or so. So you're going to need to listen to it to figure out exactly what piece of it that you want to cut out. Generally speaking for a ringtone, you don't want anything any more than 20 to 30 seconds. Otherwise you'll never hear it. Um, so I already happen to know that the piece of this music that I like runs from 30 seconds to one minute. So what you'll do is you'll come down in this piece here and left click. And when you left click, you see that little hand that appears here? You see that? Then you hold that left click button down and drag it all the way to the end of the song. Let go of the button and this area becomes highlighted. When this area is highlighted, that's the area that's going to delete. So you come up here, you click on Edit, and drop down to Delete, and click Delete, and that piece of the song goes missing. So now you have to deal with the front end of the song. Essentially, you do the same thing. You left click in here where you want it to start, hold your left click button down, and drag it out to the beginning of the song. Come up here, Edit, and Delete. Now this leaves us actually a 30 second piece of the song. So let's make sure it works. Okay, there it is. There's your 30 second clip. Now let's assume that's the piece that you want to use. You'll come up here, you click File, and Export Audio. Now you're going to drop in this box here. You don't want to save it as any of those files. You want to save it as the MP3 file. And you can, you should probably keep the name of the tune the way it is. Um, I've got mine so it saves to the desktop, but you can save it anywhere you want on your own drive. You might even want to consider um, opening a file in your My Music folder specifically for ringtones. So you'll click Save. And this will ask if you want to keep the the values of the name of the music and all of its description the same. Of course you want to do that. You click OK and it exports. Now, once it's exported, you're going to need to plug your phone into your computer. And you do that with your power cord. So you plug your cord in. This is the one you don't want. Don't use the autoplay this is the one you do want. The one that actually has the name of your phone on it. So we'll get rid of that little guy. You open the files. Now these are the files that are actually contained on your cell phone. So you open the file. Open internal storage. And these are all the files that are actually on your cell phone. You want to go into your music folder and here's all the music, uh, what few songs I have on my cell phone. So let's move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. 
Now the song that I had recorded or clipped, you want to right click that, copy it, paste it in here, and yeah, well, we'll replace it. And now that song is on your phone and you know how to set the ringtone from there. So that's it. It's super duper easy. And if you want to do another song, of course, just one will never work. You want to do File, Open, and find your next tune. Um, uh, let's do Waves. And it's opening again. And pick the section of song that you want. Say, highlight it here. Hold your left click button down, drag it out to the end, edit, delete, and you want to start it, say, here. Hold your left click button down, drag it, edit, delete, and play just the clip. Pull it against the street, pull it against the street. And then you save your file again. It's super duper easy. Now if you don't like that clip, you can come back and edit and undo the delete. And undo it again. And your whole song comes back. So you can change the parameters anytime you want. And remove that piece. And you can even play it from here to see if this is the piece that you My like so you can hear what ground, you're actually doing. Touch the ground and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon at time. You are so anytime that you actually want to listen to what you're doing, you can click this green button and it'll play that piece for you. And that should do it. If you have any questions, give me a call or text me.